if you were gonna learn macrame today, where would you go? How would you learn it? Well, um, there's a lot of books. I've written a couple. There's some other books. And also there's a lot of books that were written in the past, you know, like I learned from this book uh, in the 1960s that uh, I'm, I'm, I think it's The Art of Nodding. I, it was by uh, Donna Mellick. I really enjoyed that book. So, you know, I think that's the thing. You just need to learn the basic knots and for, in my opinion, just go for it. Just experiment. Just, you know, keep trying to make different things and you're just going to learn from the process. What do you think you're going to learn next? What are you going to work on next? Well, um, I feel like I'm, I'm very lucky and blessed that the well of ideas has never dried up. <laughs> I think it's going to be infinite, you know. And so anytime I uh, get an idea, I'm just going to follow it. And it's, you know, I, I look at other people's art and, and you know, I, I borrow from their ideas, but I make my own interpretation. You know, it's like you kind of play off of other people's uh, work. What do you wish you would have known sooner about macrame? Uh, I wish I would have taken pictures of every single thing I've ever done. <laughs> Well, pretty much everything. <laughs> but I, I do think it's really important to document your work. And especially now that there's digital cameras, there's no reason not to, you know. In the days of slides, you, you know, there was an impediment. But not now, you know, there's, you should take a picture of everything. Even if it's not, you know, an enhanced picture, just a little snapshot so you can remember. You mentioned that you were... Uh in development of online classes mm -hmm. and I just think about you know six years ago when I bought your book if there would have been an online class how great that would have been and are you thinking of doing it for beginners or beginner or immediate advance or what is your plan for that well I'm gonna have um, a beginning like a basic micro macrame class it will be similar to my DVD but not exactly like that and um, you'll be able to print out instructions and just follow along and, and learn the basics of micro macrame. And so uh, those who haven't done it before will obviously do that class first. And then I'll do a series of projects like a bracelet, some earrings, a necklace. Um, and I'm going to try to make them very affordable. I know a lot of people can't necessarily you know travel to bead and button or I and I'm going to be slowing down I think on my workshops and going around the country because I really like to stay home and uh, so you know it's a way for people to learn visually not just from a book and instructions but actually see my hands doing it and having me explain how to do it <laughs> And then that'll free you up for your work. Yes, yeah. that's the reason. You know, I, I enjoy doing workshops. I really love to meet the people and everything, but I just feel like I have to, something's got to give, so I'm going to, you know, hopefully do these online classes and be able to work more making <laughs> some new things.